Hello everyone, welcome back. Olivia here with Olivia's Romantic Home. In today's video, I have a huge, awesome Dollar Tree haul to share with you all. I love to share with you guys how you can have a boutique gorgeous home on a teeny tiny budget. And I popped into my local Dollar Tree and found some treasures that you guys might want to keep your eye out for on your next trip to your local Dollar Tree. So grab a cup of coffee, hot tea, or whatever you guys like to drink, a little snack, and let's kick back and let me share with you guys some of these fabulous treasures that Dollar Tree has been putting out. Okay, if you guys love to decorate, definitely check out Dollar Tree's wall art. I found this super adorable, really classy little picture with the stacked teacups. I love the neutral colors with the gray. I think it's very whimsical, but it can go with pretty much any decor. Now, this was the only one that I found in this. And usually Dollar Tree, when they put out their canvas prints, they'll put them out in twos. For example, I also found a super whimsical, adorable set of teacups. Now, how cute are these? Blue has been the hottest color recently, and I found these, and guess what I thought? I thought Mackenzie Childs. I have been on a Mackenzie Childs kick right now, but I also love to mix in florals and just some pops of color. I need some color right now. I don't know what it is, but it really lifts my spirits. So I found this cute little one with the bird sitting on the edge of the teacup, and then another one. So these are matching, but they're kind of offset. So check your local Dollar Tree for their canvas prints. And then if you're decorating in your bathroom, I have a pink bathroom and I love to decorate super girly in there. I also found this little makeup print. Now I really feel like that this would be a TJ Maxx for at least, you know, 10 to $15. This probably also has a match, but sometimes when you go to Dollar Tree, you really have to look hard to find the matches to the canvas prints. They've already been picked over. Or sometimes, let me tell you guys this, I have found the matching print like months later or weeks later. So just, I always keep an eye on those little prints. The next boutique on a budget gorgeous item that Dollar Tree put out is their cute little sunflower towel. This says, let your true colors shine through. I have also been doing sunflowers, as you guys can see in my background, and this towel would definitely be much more at a high-end decor store. And then they also put out this cute little bicycle one. The bicycle is kind of in a reddish orange, which orange and these yellows are gonna be really hot for our fall colors. And it says, you are my sunshine. So I love to say good morning to you guys every morning with a good morning cup of coffee, good morning sunshine. So I just loved this one and then I also found one more that just really made me smile and this says we belong together how adorable is that it's Mr. Romantic and I <laughs> Not really, but okay, so don't think about these just in the idea of a tea towel. Think about making something out of these, maybe adding some fringe or making them into a little pillow. So the sky is the limit. Definitely check your Dollar Tree for their cute little towels. Now, the next thing that I found that was super fabulous, I have been looking for these, are their adorable little, um, these are little frames. So they come with a little clip right here. And what I love about this clip, okay, first of all, this is cute and rustic. So this is gonna transition into fall and Christmas super easy. I picked up three of these because I have three kiddos and you can just change the pictures out really easily. And then the other one that I found that was super fun and fabulous was this one that says family memories. Okay, this also has the clip, and I think I'm probably gonna repaint this, but this is a great size. This was a little bit bigger than this last one. And the other thing I love about these, you guys, is they come where you can just set them with the little uh, stand. So you don't have to hang these if you don't want to. These can just set out, but I do kind of have a DIY in mind for these. So definitely grab these if you see them. Another fabulous boutique on a budget item that I found were the little Dollar Tree sunflower clips. Now, these are a really nice size. And if you guys can see right here, they have this beautiful sparkling sequin on them and they come with the little clip. So these are fabulous to clip into any little decor space, whether it be a garland, a floral arrangement, or I could even go really crazy and do one in my hair. 
<laughs> or you could put one on a jacket. That would be fun. I don't know, you guys, I have so many ideas. And then sunflowers are just such a great transition from summer to fall, so a great, fun little flower. And I did notice that in the fall 2020 colors, they're showing this lime green um, a lot. And this is kind of more of a, like a vintage lime green, but they're showing this a lot on the runway. So I'm expecting to see this pop up in some of our home decor colors or also some of the clothing that they're going to be putting out for fall. Not at Dollar Tree, but in the clothing stores <laughs> or online. Another fun thing that you might be missing at Dollar Tree that you wanna look for are their fashion items. So my girl, Sarah Jane at Chic on the Cheap, she was wearing one of these like cute little um, headband scarf things. So I went ahead and grabbed one and tried one out. Now my hair got a little poofy because I washed it last night, so bear with me. But I think it kind of added a fun little whimsy um, to this outfit. And the other things that I found that I I thought were really cute were their headbands. This is like the leopard print headband and the animal prints are definitely gonna be showing a lot for fall still. So I got this little leopard print one and then I thought this was beautiful. This is kind of a high end dupe. It's got like a little pearl headband on it and I thought for a dollar, oh my goodness, how beautiful would that be? Especially for your kiddos or your grandkids who love to do headbands or maybe if they're like me and they're crafting and they're getting paint in their hair all the time, they need to keep their hair out of their face and they also want to look fashionable, but definitely check out Dollar Tree's um, hair section. <laughs> Speaking of kids and grandkids, keep your eye out for name brand Dollar Tree toys. So I found this adorable little Mickey Mouse super cute for only a dollar and then i have a little niece that i know is going to adore this littlest pet shop um goodies so i picked up the little cat and the dog for her i know my daughter when she was about five was crazy over the littlest pet shop stuff so they are carrying some really nice little name brand goodies and the other thing i'm thinking about for is stocking stuffers so think about when you're trying to buy name brand goodies for stocking stuffers. Dollar Tree is really carrying a lot of really cute things. And I know it's early, but if you pick up some of these, you know, before Christmas time, you'll already have them on hand. You can do your stocking stuffers or pop in them in the mail to your kiddos or grandkids and um, they will just adore them. <laughs> Another thing that I love to grab from Dollar Tree are their stickers. And I found these really beautiful, romantic stickers. These are so gorgeous and would be so much more expensive if you were buying them in the craft store, but they have all of these beautiful little birds and I love to add stickers to a cute little package or even to some of my DIYs. So definitely check out the Dollar Tree sticker section. Another thing to look for in their crafters square are the pop dot adhesives. So these are really great to use with little lightweight projects when you don't wanna get out your glue gun or your craft with your grandkids. Now, I have not tried the Dollar Tree version, so comment down below and let me know how great these work, but I have really been finding so far that a lot of the Crafters Square goodies are really actually high quality for only a dollar. Now, you guys know I've been doing a lot of painting lately, so I did go ahead and pick up these little um, sponge brushes. I think these are really great for doing polka dots and also for using on stencils. I was trying to do a stencil the other day and I had a different shape sponge brush but I really feel like these round ones are really nice so again check your crafters square for some really nice crafty decor stuff now you guys know I love the old Williamsburg candles that Dollar Tree carries they're a high-end candle with a really nice scent and I have to share with you all this peaches and cream that I found if you love peaches and cream oh my goodness this one smells so good and I think these are a really nice size to pick up to pop into your guest bathroom or I even have one burning over here on my mantle. They have a nice little life on them for only a dollar and they put off a lot of really nice scents so definitely check your Dollar Tree candle section. Now one spot in Dollar Tree not to overlook are their books. Okay so this is not a hardback book. It's a soft cover book but it's slow cooker tasty and flavorful recipes. 
cookies. Now, I am a little bit challenged in the kitchen, not to say that I can't cook delicious meals because I feel like some of my meals do come out really well, but I would love to get better at slow cooker recipes. I also am gonna be starting my fall series very soon for you guys. So I do love to share recipes in with my fall series. So definitely check out the Little Dollar Tree um, section with their cookbooks and all of their books. You will be surprised at the treasures you might find. Now you guys know how much I love to share with you all how to make gorgeous floral arrangements on a budget, okay? So when I found these, I was so excited. Check these out. Oh my goodness, these are beautiful picks. Okay, so they come with three pumpkins, so make sure when you're looking through these Dollar Tree pumpkin picks that you get the pick that has three pumpkins on them. Sometimes my Dollar Tree, if there are too many crammed in there, some of the picks will pop off, so just check them over. Also, make sure that the little foam on the pumpkin is painted all the way, which I didn't really see a problem with these, but sometimes the pomegranates will have a little bit of paint chipped on, off, but I did pick up the orange and then I picked up two in the orange and then two in this beautiful, it's almost kind of like a burnt copper color, which is a beautiful color for fall. These are going to be so pretty picked in to our fall arrangements. I'm almost kicking myself that I didn't get more, but I don't think that there were very many more. It seems like people are already picking over some of these fall florals. So if you guys see these out, you know these are going to be so much more expensive in your um, crafting stores, so grab them if you see them. Another really beautiful fall find is the Dollar Tree Heather. How beautiful is this? Now, other people must have thought the same thing because these were actually the last two ones. And for these, you should look for one, two, three, there should be five on the branch. That was the other thing with these. There were a couple more left, but the little branches had been popped off or whatnot. But think about the texture that these are gonna add to your fall florals. I only found them at my store in the orange. So if you guys are able to find them in different colors, I really think Think that these are beautiful and very high end for only a dollar. Now the other thing that Dollar Tree is putting out are some sparkling fall picks. Okay, they always put these out for Christmas and I've never seen them put these out for fall. So maybe they're just new to my store or new to my eye, I don't know. But I picked it up in this beautiful kind of deep copper color. They also had this in the orange and they had this in the gold. Now, for fall florals, I don't think I want it, I don't usually get as sparkly as I do for Christmas, but if you think about how just one of these small branches might look picked into, you know, a floral, so you wouldn't wanna probably go crazy with them, but just having, you know, one of them picked in is gonna give that beautiful accent. And you can also even think about using these into Thanksgiving. Once you get closer to Christmas and you do want a little bit more sparkle and shine in your arrangement. The other thing that I found is Dollar Tree is carrying some really pretty roses in this kind of um, fall color. So I noticed Michael's is pu putting out their fall colors and they're using this kind of deeper, it almost looks to me like a little bit of a coral color, but it's got that more kind of burnt coral color. Now, there are ways to dress these flowers up a little bit. Um, you could also even add some gold tips. These weren't in the most perfect of shape, but I do want to do some romantic fall displays, and so I thought these roses would be really pretty. The other flower to look for that I thought was really pretty was the fall kind of hydrangeas. So these are not in the bright white. These are more in a cream-colored hydrangea, and the hydrangeas are such a great filler and they're also a really nice um, one to use as you're transitioning from summer again to fall. So think about that. And then of course, you guys, I had to go ahead and grab some more sunflowers because I do want to do some displays with sunflowers outside of my home. I have a cute little bike that I love to make a floral for. And the other thing that I've been noticing to add texture to your arrangements are the berries. So it even looks to me like I maybe have lost a couple of my berries here with the blue. So hopefully those are in my bag somewhere. Um, but I did pick up some of the green berries and some of the blueberries. I think 
think those are so pretty and fabulous. Another thing to grab, if you guys see these, and they're usually hanging up in a random section in my store, are the little pit berry garlands. Okay, so every once in a while, be careful because some of them will have a little bit of a chip off on the berry, but these are going to wind out and be really, really nice for a napkin ring. And I think the last ones that I picked up were in the orange, so I did go ahead and pick them up in the deeper cranberry colors for that. Okay, you guys, another new find that I found are the Dollar Tree baby blankets in the stripes. So these are the fleece baby blankets. And last year I was able to find a bunch of the gray and white check baby blankets, but I love to use these for texture in some of my fall crafts. So I was only able to find the gray and white, but we're going to do some DIYs with these. So check your baby section at your local Dollar Tree and see if they have these out because these are going to be so fun and fabulous. Another treasure that I found to go along with my little sunflower obsession is the sunflower uh, placemats. Now my Dollar Tree was totally random. These were in the kitchen section. They weren't with the sunflower dishes and I was only able to grab two of them. So we're going to do a fun little craft with these. Grab them if you see them. Another high-end item that Dollar Tree is carrying are these clear coffee mugs. Okay, these are really hot right now and they're selling an Amazon in sets for way more than a dollar. So my son's girlfriend actually was loving these and I was so excited to find these at Dollar Tree for only a dollar. So if you guys are looking for these um, style of clear glasses, they're I guess a really hot thing right now. Plus you could also do some little cute DIYs with a Cricut um, and personalize these and make them look super cute as a gift. Um, but these are going to be in the Dollar Tree kitchen section and they're a really nice size. Speaking of cute coffee mugs, which I love to share with you guys, a good morning coffee every morning are these super adorable, just little happy mugs. This one says, enjoy the ride with the little bicycle on the front. And this one says, bloom where you are planted. I just am a morning person and I love to find cute mugs. So I thought these were super adorable for only a dollar. And think about this, they would make a super great gift. The other thing you guys could do, which I thought about, was to pop up some floral foam in here and make a candy bouquet or just a little mini floral arrangement. These would be a really nice gift for a friend or a family member if they're feeling down or they haven't been feeling well to make something like this just to lift their spirit. So my daughter has a favorite teacher at school and she always loves to give her teachers gifts and I thought that this was really cute. This says best teacher ever. So this would be a fun little gift for a teacher um, that loves to drink coffee. And the other thing that I thought was super cute for a teacher, just for like a little trinket goodie, you could put some little candies in here, um, is this super cute little apple um, container. It just is like a little ceramic container with a little um, dish in here. These would be nice to put by your sink to be able to put your jewelry if you're doing dishes and take your jewelry off um, or just you know put some candies in here you could even like customize it with a little cricket design right here the sky is the limit on some of these fun teacher gifts another amazing find that i have been searching for high and low at the dollar tree is their scarf hanger now i know this is totally random but i do love to get the majority of my organizing um, stuff at dollar tree and so i'm just gonna pop this uh thing off but i love scarves you guys will see me wear scarves in the winter. I buy huge ones and they're so hard to store. I have a really small, tiny little, just kind of standalone closet. But look, check this out, you guys. So it has the little hooks on it and then it has four slots for scarves, which I think even if you had thinner scarves, you could pull a couple more through. I have looked at these at TJ Maxx and they're much more expensive than a dollar. I'll let you guys know how the felt holds up, but to me, it feels really soft and really nice. So high end on a budget. Another fun thing to look for for your kiddos, grandkids, nieces are their cute placemats. Whoops! <laughs> so I found this adorable little mini mouse placemat. It says the one and only. And I just thought that was so cute. And if you guys have a mini fan, now wait, I think actually I might have had it right the this way. So there you guys have that. 
But when my kiddos were little, I always had fun placemats. I just thought it was just such a fun way to dress up the table and keep your table linens a little bit in better shape or your tabletops. And it's just a fun, whimsical way. So check out Dollar Tree's little fun placemat. So the next fun thing that I picked up at Dollar Tree for my little niece are the little frozen decals. So she is crazy over frozen. And these are fun. They have the little fall leaves along here. And they have Elsa and Anna and then the cute little um, Olaf and then the little moose down here. And so these little decals just peel off and you can add them to a mirror or their wall or do a fun little DIY for them. But if you have any Frozen fans, you may want to check out the Dollar Tree decal section. And I also noticed that they had Star Wars and all different kinds of things. So these are just a fun little touch that you guys can add to your kiddos or grandkids or nieces bedrooms and how whimsical and fabulous. Another fun thing that I picked picked up was this cute little relax. It's just a phase. It has these cute little pom-poms, but I think this would be great for a teen's bedroom or if you just love this kind of boho um, 80s kind of look. I just thought that was so fun and fabulous. Now it doesn't come with a hanger on the back, so this would be like a good little shelf sitter or something to sit by your sink or just wherever you might want to pop a little fun reminder sign in. You guys know I'm totally obsessed with the dollar tree signs but I just thought this was a fun idea. Another fun thing to keep an eye out for if you're a Little Red Truck fan are the Little Red Truck oven mitts and these little uh, pot holders. So they come two to a pack and I shared with you guys the Little Red Truck um, dish towels and I assumed that there was also pot holders and the oven mitts to go with them. They weren't in my store but then I found them like a week or two later. So check that out. Now I have a matching set for when I want to bring it these out probably during my Christmas decor and just think about these you guys can add some little pom-poms or customize these I think these are fun to just hang on your wall dress things up and just have fun in your kitchen another fun thing to keep your eye out for are their beach decor so I found this beautiful bottle which I thought was really nice and high-end so I think a fun thing to do is to fill these with some pretty soaps or sand or some tiny seashells you could paint these really the sky is the limit it, but these would definitely be much more in your high-end decor store. They have a little beach section, so if you're totally into that coastal fun summer decor, definitely check these out. Okay, this is a little bit random, but I do love to grab some snacks at Dollar Tree, just some little treats, and they have these white Reese's cups. These are so yummy, and I thought that this was five pack. They're only the snack size, but for only a dollar, you guys can pop these in the freezer. They're really delicious just for a little treat. I like the snack size better because then you're not eating quite as much. Um, but Mr. Romantic and the kiddos also love Reese's treats and then they love the stacks. So it's not a huge price difference, but I think Walmart has upped their stacks to like $1.75 and Dollar Tree is still rocking it out for a dollar. And the other thing I want you guys to look for because my Walmart again now is sold out of cleaning supplies, which I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm able to find um, some of the Clorox multi-purpose and I just pop this into a bottle to spray my counters down with. Um, so check your local Dollar Tree. I am finding also um, just some different cleaning stuff. Also they have the uh, Clorox disinfecting wipes. These are great to keep in your car if you need to wipe things down. Um, so check Dollar Tree if you guys are having a problem already trying to find cleaning supplies at Walmart. Another thing that I always buy at Dollar Tree are their plaque. Uh, little toothpicks. Um, actually, these are, you know, just uh, flossers is what I meant to say, but I really feel like they have the best deal on these. And for some reason, I don't remember to buy these at Walmart, but I always remember to buy them at Dollar Tree. They come 60 to a pack, which I feel like is a really great deal. So grab these if you see them. Um, I love them. They're so easy to use. Another thing that I found at Dollar Tree, which usually they just carry the generic brand of cough drops, were the Halls cough drops. Now this wasn't a super big container of them. There's only 14 in here, but I did need some just to pop into my purse. So if you guys need these on the run and you want the nicer brand, Dollar Tree is carrying the Halls brand of cough drops. <laughs> Last but not least, I found microfiber duster pads. Now I know people have also used these for Christmas decor. So check these out, but they are carrying a lot more goodies in their cleaning section. I just went ahead and picked up one 
one of these, but I may go back for more because I know you can actually use these in your Christmas tree to make it look like snow. <laughs> I know I said the Christmas word, but you guys know I'm always thinking about holiday decor, how to look fabulous and save money on a budget. So that is going to do it for this Dollar Tree haul. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you're new, welcome. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home, and I love to share with you guys how you can make your own boutique gorgeous on a teeny tiny budget. I think you could be fabulous at any age and on any budget size. Um, so I just want to encourage you guys to keep up the good work crafting and decorating. I have a super amazing video for you all on Thursday. It's actually going to be a collaboration with one of my favorite YouTube DIYers out there. So look for that. Also, don't forget to comment and subscribe because I have a candle give giveaway going on and I am going to announce the winner of that giveaway on Thursday's video. So stay tuned for that. Now, the secret question, I always love to ask you guys a secret question. I feel like it helps me get to know you guys a little bit more. Um, but what is your favorite jewelry style? So do you guys love to wear jewelry? If so, what style do you guys love? Um, do you love the hoops? Do you love bohemian? Do you love more classic? I just love to hear what everybody has going on out there. Um, I am still kind of stuck on my hoops. I'm, and I'm also kind of still stuck on those tassel earrings. So so, but I just love to get inspiration from you guys. So I want to wish you guys a gorgeous, blessed day. Thank you all for being here. Remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. And I cannot wait for the next video. Until then, we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.